What's up everyone, it's Iceman Oz, aka AJ, and in today's video, I've got for you guys a new episode of Mailbox. Now, if you don't know what this series is, basically it's where you leave me a question in the comment section below, and I answer it. The first question today comes to us from It's Angels. What do you think of the current video game market? I feel that it has been on a steady decline since the start of the early 2000s. We used to have games that, while shorter, had multiple different ways of finishing a level or the game. Now games are longer, but I feel they are quite linear and don't offer much replayability. What's your take on this? Would you like to see more replayability instead of more gameplay? Well, of course, it's one of those things initially where you want quality over quantity, right? I mean, anyone can make a whole bunch of crap and make the campaign last for 30 hours, but we want quality gameplay. When we play a game, we want to have a fun time. That's what gaming is all about. It's not just the ultimate time waster, it's an experience. I do disagree with you that games are getting longer in terms of their campaigns. Uh, I automatically think of The Order 1886, that's like a 7 hour campaign, that's barely anything. So I guess it does depend on the game itself, but I agree with you that there are a lot of games that have been on the decline and having such poor releases. The reason this is, is because the publishers are forcing the developers to push out their games faster, meaning that the games are coming out unfinished. And what happens when a game releases early? It's normally going to be a lower quality than the developers wanted to make it because they didn't have enough time to perfect it. At the end of the day, it all comes down to time, and if developers aren't given enough time to make games, they're gonna make shitty ones. Just straight up, that's what it is, and the problem is, I don't think it's gonna be changing anytime soon. We're going down a line where AAA titles are being forced released and a lot of these games are coming out absolutely horrible so hopefully it changes sooner rather than later but I don't see it changing anytime soon. Next question comes to us from Sparta Babble. By the way, this is from a year ago. I'm trying to catch up to all the questions that I missed because I did take a break from YouTube. But anyway, that being said, hey Ice, nice vid. I've got a question for you. Since you've got subscribers from different countries and from different continents, of course, <laughs> generally that's how it works, uh, could you tell us a bit about the place where you live, smiley face. So the place where I live is Australia and I've lived here for the majority of my life, of course. It's a, it's the country I was born in and it's a good country generally. It's pretty laid back. It definitely appreciates uh, talent, but it'll they'll definitely bring you down when you do something uh, bad in terms of being a media personality and whatnot. But one thing that I don't like about Australia is the heat, my God. During the summers, it is just so hot. Not to mention, I am half Dutch as well, so being in Australia, it, because it is so hot, it is really tough for me because I am European in a sense, and when I'm around this heat, it pretty much tears me apart, to be quite honest with you. I have AC going the whole time. You have to in Australia. It is just that damn humid. During the winter, it's actually starting to get snowy here, which it was never snowy before. Uh, well, it was, but in more areas now than it was before, it's starting to actually snow. So hopefully, the snow starts to come over to where I am during the winter, because it ain't here right now, baby. I'm telling you that right now. And our final question today comes to us from Ronin729. Walkthroughs and tutorials, all right. Hello, Jay, turn around, cough, sorry. Do you think the netcode in Battlefield 4 will have an effect on the amount of copies purchased of Battlefield 5? Now, this question was a while back when Battlefield 4's netcode was absolutely destroyed, but I thought it was a valid question that I wanted to answer in this video because a lot of people left Battlefield 4 when the netcode was destroyed. And I know a lot of people that will not even touch a Battlefield title now. They're absolutely done with it, and of course it'll affect Battlefield 5 because, or whatever the next title's gonna be, whether it be Bad Company 3 or whatever the case, it's going to affect the next titles coming up because of Hardline, because of Battlefield 4, because these things have such bad launches, it really puts people off. If I was working at DICE or EA, the thing I would do is I would be absolutely going for quality control on release because that is when everyone's tuning in, everyone's watching the reviews, everyone's watching IGN, what are they going to rank it, what, what rating, the, is it going to be an 8 out of 10, what is it? And when that thing drops and if it's not good enough, 
boy, oh boy, will you see the backlash of that, and will you see the players drop? Absolutely. One thing I'd like to mention regarding the next Battlefield game is I'll have a couple of videos coming up soon about it, so be sure to stay tuned for that. But there it is, guys. That is the episode for today. If you have a question for me, please be sure to leave it in the comments section below. But that's pretty much it for me, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and peace.